join, Telephone. Protecting my investment, Timmy. I need to safeguard this bird until he's ready to start singing about all the naughty things he knows. <laughs> Timmy thinks you should sleep on it. Wait till tomorrow to trash you for some sleep. Hell no, Tim Tim. Tonight's the night. Think how deliciously sick and Jared is going to be when she finds out the truth about her dear doctor and defender. <laughs> or Eve. Or Cherry. Uh-oh! What if Charity senses you want to destroy Eve Russell's life with that bird? <laughs> Tough toadstools, baby cakes. You're never gonna be normal. I just hope we can swing your supernatural gifts over to our side before you realize that I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> Is Charity right? Are things going to come out of that, Chad? <laughs> Indeed they are, Timmy. Charity's powers are getting sharper by the minute. That young man is like a ticking time bomb. When the truth about his past is revealed, there's going to be quite an explosion. Yeah, Eve Russell won't be the only one who doesn't know what hit her. <laughs> That's the last thing Eve Russell wants, is someone asking questions about her past. <laughs> Poor Eve. Yes, I'd almost feel sorry for her myself if I didn't have to destroy her. <laughs> I hate people nosing around in my past almost as much as she does. Jimmy wishes he had a past for people to wonder about. Careful what you wish for, Timmy. I bet Eve Russell would do anything to be in your shoes right this moment. Charity's premonition's coming fast and furiously. I can't waste another second. It's high time we expose Eve for the tramp and the liar that she really is. But she's not now. She's nice. Too late. Now, you stay here. I'm going to run home and call that misguided husband of hers and get him over here to find the red envelope inside the bird and with it, the long-lost truth about his wife. But how are you going to get him over here? TC, I'm over here at the Bennetts checking on charity. Why don't you come meet me here? Boy, if Timmy didn't know there... He'd think you were Eve Russell herself. <laughs> Good answer. Now, you stay here and listen out for any juicy tidbits we can use later. Please, God. Please. Don't let anyone find out about my life before TC. I've tried so hard to put all the bad things behind me. Who's there? Who's there? Who's watching me? Oh, for goodness sake. It's that doll of Tabitha's. Well, I'm sure glad it was just you. Couldn't bear for anyone else to hear me talking about my old life. <sighs> Only the girls knew. Why, I was so strict with them. Why, I'd just do anything to keep them from following in my footsteps. I just wish I knew why Orville is so insistent that they stay away from Chad. Somehow, I feel like it's all my fault. <laughs> That's strange. 
You one of those dolls that cries real tears? Maybe it's just one of my own. No. Don't cry for me, little one. I'll be all right. Doctor, what's the dinner's almost ready? Crying, Dr. Russell. What's wrong? Don't do it, Princess! Don't do it! To me, feel sorry for Dr. Russell. Oh, where do these pangs of conscience come from, Tim Tim? They certainly weren't there when I sewed you up. First you fall in love with that nauseatingly sweet charity, and now you're worried about the, the, the not-so-pure Dr. Eve Russell. <laughs> but she's sorry for what she did. <laughs> Tell them! No, leave her alone! Oh, lovely. It's going to be the biggest scandal Harmony's had in years. You've seen my, uh, my black shawl, Tim Tim? I want to be sure I look really nice for Eve's downfall. I think I must have left it upstairs. Wicked bird. <laughs> Timmy can't let Eve be hurt. She's a nice lady. And she helps charity too. Timmy. Bird? What bird? The bird with all the incriminating evidence inside it about Dr. Eve Russell. Mm, maybe it flew away. That's it. It came to life and flew out the window up to the moon and the stars. Free at last! Oh my, it's free at last! did you do with it? You're going to tell me, and you're going to tell me now. 